Hey guys, my name is Tim Schmoyer and it's Tuesday, which means it's time to take a look at some of the online video news updates from last week and talk about the implications that they have for us as creators as we're developing our audiences and our channels here on YouTube. I got three big stories and they're all gonna be linked up down there for you guys below if you wanna learn more information about them because I'm gonna go through them all really quick. Um, the first one about YouTube, the second one's gonna be about Facebook video and the third one's gonna be about Twitter, live streaming and that type of stuff. So first of all, there's a rumor going around based on some people who have some insider information apparently that YouTube is working on upping their live streaming service for live streaming video game let's plays you know basically they lost their acquisition of twitch and now it looks like they're hiring staff to come alongside and really help them boost their live streaming service on YouTube for video gameplay. But I'm really curious to hear from you guys if this is the direction that YouTube is going. It's just a rumor now, like no hard facts, no announcements or anything like that. Would you guys prefer to grow your YouTube audience on your channel and have live streaming and everything there in one place? Or do you like having it spread out between two platforms because you like diversifying your audience a little bit more so you're not kind of like, you don't have all your eggs in one basket. There's two big updates for Facebook video. One is that you can now embed Facebook videos into blogs, into websites, into other things. They give you an embed code now, just like we've always had here on YouTube. And the second one is that they now have what they call spherical videos, which is basically the same thing as 360 degree video that we've been talking about here on YouTube. It's super interactive. Let's use your mouse to kind of pan around, look around and see in any direction that you want to look. The ability to embed Facebook videos has already been released and the spherical videos will be coming sometime soon. The third platform that came out with a lot of big updates with video this past week is Twitter. Now I've been playing with Meerkat for the past several weeks and I love it. Love being able to go like live stream just spontaneously and instantly through Twitter. And as much as Meerkat has really been taking off, Twitter has their very own official live streaming video service now that they just released broadly to everyone on the internet. It's called Periscope. The great thing about both of these tools is that they can be great for audience development. They let you sit down and kind of do like a live FaceTime or Skype video call with like a lot of people watching instead of just kind of 1v1 as you would on like iOS. In fact, I am actually live streaming this right now. You guys can't see because I'll be out of focus, but uh, I am actually on Periscope right now, live streaming all the behind the scenes of me shooting this, which has been fun, right guys? Has this been fun? Awesome, Brian Lanning joined. Brian, say hi to everybody. You guys are out of here, let me get you in focus. Everybody on Periscope, say hi to the people of Video Creators. <laughs> One of the cool things about Meerkat though is that there is now a new service called Catch that if you start a Meerkat live streaming event and you publish that to Twitter, it will automatically take your live stream, it will record it and then upload it to YouTube when your stream ends. Now for those of you who might be confused about the difference between Meerkat and Periscope, I'll put a link in the description below that will kind of give you some comparisons between what one of them is good at, one of them is bad at. Personally, I'm kind of experimenting with both right now. And I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Number one, which one are you using? Which one do you prefer and why? And number two, I would love to hear how you're using this to build relationships with people in your audience and really kind of further your audience development efforts, both here on YouTube and on Twitter. So I'm really looking forward to learning from you guys about that down there below. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe every Tuesday. We Look at the updates, just kind of like we did here. Tomorrow on Wednesdays, I'll give you guys some YouTube tips and ideas, suggestions, advice, things like that. And then on Thursdays, we do YouTube Q&A. And we do all that every week, guys, because I really believe that a lot of you guys have messages that need to spread and the world needs to hear. And I want to help you guys grow your YouTube channels and your audiences so that the people who need to hear what you have to say can quickly and easily find you, become a part of your community, and have their lives be changed by the message that you're sharing. So thank you for letting me be a small part of that. Subscribe here, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.